Right, following another question I got asked, people say, well, the Mini Beast is rather complicated to install. It's not. It's so simple. Absolutely simple. You've got your cables from your battery. Use a battery isolator to your battery. If you've got some of the newer batteries have got isolators built in, but if you're using an isolator, isolator, battery, connect. Simple. What else? You connect live and neutral on your grid side. You don't need to use a meter, so some of them are using a, a power meter now, but if you followed on eFix TV, they say you don't need a power meter, so you connect the two power, it will go onto your consumer unit, and you add a CT call that detects the export. That's it. So if I'm gonna install this, screw it on the wall, simple. I screw it, fix my battery on the wall, simple. I run my cable for my power cable, possibly using a rotary isolator, which I should do next to the inverter from the consumer unit and one of the fuses on the consumer unit through a rotary isolator onto the mains on the inverter. That's it. I've obviously then got my PV. You don't need to use separate isolators for PV because it's got an isolator on the unit which disconnects so it takes it off load. So if you switch that off it takes off load. So you can run my solar panels straight into it. One thing to always consider, look at your minimum voltages on your solar panels. Everybody looks at maximum voltage so try and keep your minimum voltages around 350-400 volt. And um, once you go lower, when you get into around the 200 volts, your currents go up, which is not very clever. So you always want to keep your voltages higher. So use more panels in series and look at your voltage of your panels. It's always something to consider. There's some calculations which I won't bore you with at the moment. But the SIMP system, it's so easy to install. And, and one thing, talk about Mini Beast in the UK. You don't need an MCS accreditation to install this. Any qualified, and I'm going to put qualified because I don't recommend to unqualified people, but any qualified electrician can install this system. It's simple. You have to notify the DNO, so you should send them a notification that you've installed it, but you don't need permission from it. So it's really, that's it. So any system, and as I mentioned the other day, Mini Beast can take 7,000 watts of solar, as I pointed out yesterday, 7,000 watts. A Mini Beast has a three and a half or 3.6 kilowatt charger and a 3.6 kilowatt discharge. It's a bi-directional inverter. So it's so simple to install. That's it. There's no point in doing loads of training videos. One of the things people say, well, I don't understand the software. You don't need to understand the software. There are a few simple things. If you're not too sure, we can send you a simple file and you can upload the file from your app, from your phone, upload one file, it will do all your presets automatically. If you just want a simple, when the sun is shining, you use the electricity, the excess power you put into the battery. When you come home at night, you want to use the excess power of the battery. We can send you a simple one button command that does all the programming. So you don't need to worry about programming. And it's got, the, it's got this amazing LCD display, which your customers absolutely love. Thanks for following. I'm going to do loads of videos anyway. So keep following and talk more about Mini Beast of the UK Mini Beast. <laughs> Thanks for following.